Thought you might want to reminisce a little bit. It must be kind of odd here. You're ready to go into, uh, you know, bill writing mode here. Yeah, so. that's a good point. No, in fact, I said to Greg, my chief aide, the other day, I said, think about it. We are into the third week of September, and we're not having to prepare uh, for traveling up to Tallahassee. Uh, uh, concerned about, you know, what committee meetings will be coming up. I think one of the best things we were able to do, and that was to pass legislation to uh, that uh, created the prescription drug monitoring program that stops the doctor shopping in the state of Florida. Florida was at one time known as the pill mill states with the legislation we passed and creating the PDMP and uh, stopping bad people from owning pill mills. We've, we've, we're saving lives and uh, that's already been proven. I think another issue that we Although it wasn't a bill, it was a memorial that we passed in our first, I think, year or second year as a legislator was to bring a, a nursing home to Pasco County for our veterans. It's now known as the Baltimore Nursing Home here in Land Lakes. It's been here about 15 years, yes. And I think that was one of the best things that, that Pasco has ever had have happened because it was a joint effort, uh, both at the local level, at the state level, uh, the community got involved. What legislation did you not get uh, passed that you wish you Oh, probably dealing with uh, property insurance. Uh, the most disappointing time was when a bill passed that I couldn't stop, I couldn't kill. Uh, Senate Bill 408 back in 2011 uh, that allowed uh, the private companies and citizens to pretty much raise rates uh, without any oversight by the Office of Insurance Regulation. And that's that's a bill that we're now seeing the consequences of uh, uh, people that need, want, and have to have uh, 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 sink hole insurance. Uh, the, the cap was taken away under that bill, oh, and yeah. now we're seeing those rates uh, you know, quadruple over the last couple of years. And, uh, it's a bill that also allows uh, the insurance companies to have carte blanche as far as raising rates at certain times. We'd love to have the private market come in but if they're not going to come in, you've got to have an alternative. And for most of the people in West Paso, especially in West Pasco, Citizens is the only game in town. Uh, if you could go back in time to get a time machine and a DeLorean or something, and go back to, what was it, 94, 94 was your first year in the house? Yeah, so, in the Florida uh, house. What yeah. would you do differently over the last intervening 19 years? I would not be so partisan. I would be a little bit more independent uh, 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 as I grew in my legislative career I understood the importance of being uh, more of an independent person maybe not as far as part as party wise but as far as thinking you were pushing for the prison census uh, they had to serve 85 percent of their yes sir the terms yeah. there now they sound like they're going to go backwards and on drug cases and that, and that no mandatory me. sentencing yeah. what do you think about that well i don't i don't truly support that you know we pushed hard to get the 85 percent in in fact it was it was passed uh, via constitutional amendment uh, the courts kind of threw that out so we had to come back legislatively back in the the late 90s to put it back yeah. in um, but uh, it concerns me that if we start to go back in time, we have seen crime fall significantly in the state of Florida because of the tough stance we took on criminals and protecting the victim for a change and not protecting the, vi uh, uh, not protecting the criminal. One of the things we saw back in the early 90s that we were coddling the, the criminals and giving them a second, third, and fourth chance and it was a revolving door in our prison system. Because of the tough laws we put in place, we saw those prisoners, those repeat offenders, stay in jail and stay in jail a lot longer, and that's why we saw our crime being reduced. Let's not go back to those days.